everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Aries and welcome to your reading for August. So I hope you had a lovely July. I know it's still July at the time of watching this video um, but these influences are sort of running from around the 20th, 21st, 22nd of the month because I'm going by the signs, um, you know, the, the movement of the signs, the sun going from one sign to the next. So the sun is going to be in... Um, Leo, coming up to Leo now. So you, when you finished um, July, or even now, you're still in this influence of thinking about your emotional security, emotional well-being, really taking care of yourself, maybe feeling a bit sensitive, thinking about your home life, thinking about whether it supports you uh, and the things that you want to do in life, um, thinking about uh, where to go next in terms of maybe... Um, where you want to live, what is going to be the place that supports you or the kind of home environment that supports you. And so you're moving out of this influence and this influence will have supported you in moving into the next phase, which is looking at what really brings you to life, what makes you really, really happy, what really brings you joy, what makes you shine, because Leo is all about shining, it's about the heart, it's about creativity, it's about love, true love, about passion even, and it's about really, really being true to those things in yourself. So where you've, where you've come from with taking care of your emotions and your emotional well-being, it's quite possible that you had some experiences that really kind of triggered you in terms of your sensitivity that made you think okay this is there's something here that I really need to look at now there's something here that I'm being shown in terms of the areas where I'm most vulnerable that is telling me to really take notice of what it is that I now need to be really being honest with myself 
with regard to what I love, what I really, truly love. So, with this month, we've got not only um, the sun in Leo, we've also got the new moon there, which is what usually happens, but it's also a solar eclipse. And so we're all being asked to really, really make changes. We're asking, we're being asked to accept change, to go with the change. And with you, where you're being asked to accept change is in the area of creativity, of what you really, really love, of even true love, of everything that warms your heart and makes you feel like it's great, <laughs> makes you feel glad to be alive, is what my guide just said. So this is the area that you're going to be very strongly focused on and this is the area in which you're going to be asked to embrace change, to jump into the new and to just trust and celebrate that it's the right thing to do. And also be very aware of where you might get um, tripped up by, um, you know, getting drawn into things that are to do with what you feel is expected of you. So, because you've got the opposite of that, which is the Aquarius energy, kind of pulling you in where, into um, a kind of situation where you might end up feeling as if you are just doing things to please other people, to please the wider community, or because it's what's expected of you. So, those are the energies that are gonna be around you. So let's see what cards we've got that will support support you in your decisions and give you a little bit more about what you can do to embrace the new, what you can do to really find out what you need to do to support you on your journey back into love. Okay, so we're going to do past, present, future, advice and then outcome. Okay, so the past. So it's the goddess of shadows and it says what you perceive to be your dark side is a hidden treasure, holds a hidden treasure. So whatever it is, in the past, you've actually judged yourself quite harshly. You've judged yourself quite harshly for whatever this thing is that's kept you from knowing what it is that you really, really love. So it could be that you have lots of choice, that there are lots of possibilities open to you. It could be that you um, are reluctant to take a risk in terms of moving away from a job that's secure and stable or a connection that's secure and stable, or even a home, a place of living, a, a set of habits, whatever. It could be a relationship because we're talking about love, true love here. So what, what you've done in the past ha that's kept you safe or that's kept you from jumping into your passion it's actually helped you in the end because it's helped you all the sifting and sorting and the procrastinating and the delays have helped you to become really expert in knowing yourself. You've become really, really clear. So what you perceive to be not a great thing or what's not helped you out in the past is actually beginning to serve you quite well now. And what you're going to be asked to do in August is to take all of that knowledge, take all of that information, all of that finding out, sifting and sorting, and put it, put that energy, use that knowledge, use that wisdom now to channel all of your energy, all of your um, focus into what it is that you really, truly love, without fear, without holding back, and without being drawn into other people's visions or ideas about what you should be doing. Okay, so coming into the present now, as you come into this um, energy of sort of end of July and the beginning of August, where are you? Goddess of Beauty. To me, this card is often speaking about self-love. So, uh, and the message says, you're a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. So, accept yourself. It's about, it's, these two cards together, that's a really powerful message that say, you've been judging yourself way too harshly. So see your weaknesses that you've had in the past as being a divine blessing and see yourself as being perfect, whole and complete and try to see the higher plan in all of this. See the message, the greater message in all of this, which is that everything that you've done, everything that you've been, everything that you are and every where that you are right now is absolutely perfect for the journey that you're about to go on. 
So when it comes to embracing change, embracing the new, it's not about changing yourself, it's not about making yourself fit anything else, it's about shifting your perspective and saying, right, I'm just going to do what I absolutely love now, I'm just going to let my heart lead the way. That's the message of this whole Leo energy, is to let your heart lead you. So that's where you are now, you're just coming to that place now where you're beginning to feel it could be possible. So allow yourself to embrace any structures that will support that, any um, practicalities that you can embrace, any help that you can accept as well. Okay, so moving into the future. Goddess of the sacred path. Well, there's not a lot more sacred than following your heart and trusting that, trusting the wisdom of that. The message says, let go of logic and trust your intuition. So there is somewhere in you that you're still holding back and you're still thinking, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. I love doing that, but can it really support me? Or I love doing that, but am I really good enough at it? I love doing that, but, you know, will people think that the way that I do it is okay or will it be accepted? Again, that tension between what the wider society thinks of you and what you really truly are. It's time for you to walk the sacred path now. There is no question about it because anyone who's ever achieved anything worth doing, anything of note, has at some point had to work, walk that sacred path where you just say, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else, but it makes sense deep in my heart, so I'm going to pursue it. Okay, so advice, your advice from the universe, from your guides, from the angels, and from spirit, from synchronicity of, of universal placement, goddess of the earth. An idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. So this is, it's very much about being, having everything stripped down to its raw essence. What is the, the essential nature of your being? And the essential nature of all of our being is creativity and creation and imagination, all of those things. So if you think that these are things that are not typically Aryan, not typically you, because you know it's all about action, taking action and making things happen, um, there's, there's a way to do everything, there's a way to be creative, there's a way to be connected to the earth and connected to nature, there's a way to do everything that, um, that also honours who you really are. So you could be just very good at initiating plans and projects that will allow all of these um, factors to come together within you and within others. It could be that you just you go for this but you put a lot of energy behind it. Whatever it is that you're going to be doing, um, this idea connected with uh, being much more creative than you've allowed yourself to be perhaps in the past, you're going to have to go for it wholeheartedly that's what you're being asked to do to just give up your you know suspend your disbelief about what you can and can't do surrender to sur surrender to what's actually apparent what is emerging easily because i'm looking at this card and the way that she's got her hands they almost seem to be tied up this is very much like a surrender card and it's kind of saying everything that's happening easily around you is already showing you the way. Things that are beginning to emerge, just almost without you making any effort, those are the way, the things that are showing you the way, showing you the direction. So that's your advice. Surrender, be creative, be, be imaginative and allow it to happen. And the outcome, if you do all of those things. Angel of Clearing. Right, so you're going to be going through a period of doing more clearing, clearing within your life, clearing of yourself, maybe clearing, you know, looking at connections um, and ideas and things that you've had in the past that don't make you feel as if you can really be in charge of your destiny in terms of your own personal vision of creativity. You're going to have to clear that away, you're going to have to clear your mind, clear your beliefs, clear away the things that have stopped you from trusting and having faith in yourself in the past. You might even do some space clearing and I almost feel you sort of, you know, lots of plans and ideas and journaling and things that you've done in the past. You might want to clear some of those out as well because it's as if it's time to let go, let go of the old, let go of the uh, the things that you thought you were and 
allow yourself to drop into the things that you feel you are. So clear away things that came from an ideas um, basis, from a planning and a logic basis and move them out of your space, move them out of your environment and just have heart-centered things around you so that you can trust that path a bit more. Have emblems, I'm hearing the word emblems, so have pictures, paintings on your wall of the kind of creativity or the kind of mission that you want to pursue and um, you know if this doesn't uh, resonate with you it could be that it's just not the reading for you at this time because I know that this is a really strong, clear message for a certain number of Aries who are going to really, really resonate with it. And there might be some who are just thinking, well, I wanted to know what was happening in my relationship. I'm just going to say your focus really needs to be at the moment on this deep change that is happening because August is going to be a very powerful month for all of us. So our focus needs to be on doing the work for ourselves so that we can attract a higher vibration of everything including relationships. So I hope that helps you if you want to go into more details with that um, feel free to book a reading with me. The link will be under the video. I'm going to just pick you a card just quickly from my um, angels um, guardian angel deck and you've got <laughs> inspiration. Okay so I mean that's just wonderful. It says a wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to um, about to arrive, about to enter your aura. So there's a bigger message than that, but I just want you to take all of that and understand that even if you don't understand everything that this message is about at the moment, as you progress through the month, the rest of July and into August, it will become a lot clearer. So I hope you have a great August Aries and have a fantastic time with all your creative ventures and ideas. And I will speak to you again in September. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.